Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So we have another song from 21 Pilots and this one is called Never Take It. Never thought of um, make this uh, to a tutorial here but we have uh, a subscriber who wished for this one so this one is especially for you. Uh, so yeah let's go. Five chords to start with so E first, open E, second A, second D, first G, open B and open E. Then we have uh, a D chord here, so open D, second G, third B, second E. Then A, open A, second D, second G, second B and open E. Then the C chord here. So, third on A, second D, open G, first B, open E. And a B7, and this time I prefer to hold it like this. You can bar this chord, but uh, we play it like this. So that gives us the second on A, first on D, second on G, open B, and second E. Yeah, so those are the chords. And we have this intro here. Uh, when you saw me now playing this intro uh, in the beginning here, I tried to add the, the melody here into the strumming. Uh, not the easiest thing to do on this planet, but it uh, is fully possible. I will show you how to play just the notes here. And you can play with it when it comes to adding it into the strumming pattern. So let's start with this intro here. You start on the D string here, 4th fret, then open G, and 2nd G. So it starts like this, then it comes to the B string here, open B, 3rd B, and open B again. So, then we go down here to the E string and we play the third here on E, second on E, open E, third on B, and open E. So, And then we play the open B and the second G. So you see here it's divided into yeah clusters like this, so certain notes and then pause and certain notes and then pause. So this time it was the open B and the second G. And the final part here is the open B, second G. 3rd B, 1st B, and open B. So, uh, And the chords here for uh, the intro, um, I looked up on internet here and some uh, people that write some different chords, but it's actually, it's E to D to C to B7. It goes two rounds like this, so... Two rounds. Before the verse starts. Uh, so here you can play four downstrokes for each chord. So. starts the verse. Uh, so uh, how do we know when are we gonna play this melody? Yeah I checked it up so it starts with four E's, four D's and on C here one two three and on the fourth the this yeah uh, melody starts. 
So when you hit this there, you are at the B7. Two, three, and on the fourth B7, you hit the, the next cluster of notes, this note. And so when you play on this note, you play the E. Two, three, and then you land on the D. So on this note, two, three, and on the third here, and you land on the C. Two, and on the third, you play this, and you land on the on the last note here on the B7. So I hope you could follow there, that's just an idea how to build in the melody here into the strumming. And you will have to kind of play with this one, so it could sound something like this. So, E, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, and on the C, 1, 2, 3, and then B7 here, 2, 3, and here on the 4th B7, and on the this one, E, 3, D, 2, C, 2, 3, 4. So that was a slow version of this intro. A little bit tricky to get this one, but it's um, yeah. If you if you just like to play the melody here, it's uh, it's fine. It's enough. Or you can just strum the intro, and then the verse starts here. Here uh, the the strum will be a little bit faster. So it will be four down strums, uh, a little bit faster like this. And you will do uh, for the incorporation it will be E to the D to A C. And B7. This goes two rounds, and the strum will be so I do four down strums, and for the first E, it will be two rounds, so in total eight downs, and then on the D, the same, on the A, same, and on the C, just four, and on the B7, just four. So two rounds of this. And then we are at the chorus. Uh, the chord progression here will be E to D to A to E. And that will go two rounds as well. So. After this one comes this uh, kind of post chorus part, uh, and this melody will start. So, the melody we just learned in the intro. So, and when it's played here on this note, open B, you're gonna start to strum uh, or continue to play this melody here, but the strumming starts there and uh, it will be the same here as in the intro so e d c and b7 and you can continue to 
play the strumming as you did in the in the verse and of course this is a little bit faster yeah and then starts the second verse there same as uh, as the, the first one and uh, yeah another chorus here uh, for this chorus here it's changed a little bit when it comes to the second chorus it will be in total uh, eight no sorry four rounds four rounds in total so because uh, there's uh, on the third round just an instrumental part uh, if you listen to the song and the fourth round it's again uh, another chorus uh, uh, round there uh, so that is how it goes and when this finish here on this chorus uh, the last time you play E you're gonna play E four times so and then starts this bridge and this bridge is uh, just made for this channel because the, ly the lyrics here is, if I quote, uh, the summer I watched the two, I saw enough, taught myself to play guitar, tearing it up. Great lyrics, it just fits very well. Uh, so how do we play this bridge? Uh, the chord progression will be E to D to A to D. Okay? So E, D, A, D. And then E, D, A. And the final part there, I will show you. It will be like this. And the final part. So, and then, and this is played on the second A, open A, third E, and open E. So play two rounds of this, so over again. And that is where he sings never too much. And the voice continues there in the song, never too much. And the second time that you're saying never too much, you're gonna strum on the A. Uh, sorry E and you're gonna do it two times and then it starts all over again uh, kind of with with a chorus there never too much never too much yeah and so on two rounds of this and then comes this solo. I'm not, I'm not sure if you want to learn this solo because, uh, yeah, uh, it's played on electric guitar a little bit different like this. But I can show you the notes here if you if you wish. And if you don't want, just skip this part. Um, Kind of, and why I put the notes here up here because I think it's uh, really played higher up on a fretboard, and that is because uh, you can actually build in this. I'm a fan of this when we just teach with one guitar, I'm a fan of building things into the strumming as much as we can. So, um, so you can actually build in a lot of these notes, especially here in the beginning, with the chords because the chords will go in E. D, A, E, again, so that builds on the chorus here, the same chords, so. And here it 
terms of ends because we need to go up here and we'll still have chords up here to play so that's just um, yeah you, you it works in the beginning here uh, so how do we play it I can show you briefly third on E second E open E open E third B third E second E open E and then triple E open then third B second B open B open B open B then open E open E fifth E fifth E seventh E seventh E that finish the first round like E D A and E chord so mm -hmm. And then on the second round of E, D, A and E, he plays like... So that will be uh, everything on the E string here. So I'm just gonna uh, mention the frets here. So 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 10. 9, 7, 7, 7, 7, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10, 12, 12, and that is one round of the chord progression E, D, A and E. And then it just finished with another chorus and it fades out with the chorus. And that guys, especially for you, is this Never Take It song. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool song with a lot of attitude and uh, thank you for uh, wishing this on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it was helpful. It was. Please thumb up, be a subscriber if you're not yet and don't forget, play tune.